you are going to spend money in the Cleveland market. I'm talking to you, New Yorkers. If you're coming to Cleveland because the prices are cheap and you folks out there in New York think it's a can't lose, you better pay attention to this show before you drop that money. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. My name is James Wise. I am here to help New Yorkers like you invest in Cleveland real estate. Today, we're working with a New Yorker named Sopio, right? You come to the Cleveland market because when you Google, like, what's the best cash flow market in the country, stuff like that, Cleveland always pops up because our prices are so low. You being from New York, looking at it with New York investor eyeballs might think it's a can't lose. Perhaps you can't possibly lose on a duplex that costs 79 grand. You only need to put down 20 grand. The bank kicks in the other 60 k We don't have rent control in the Cleveland market. How can you possibly lose? Can you possibly lose? Is it a good deal? Is it a bad deal? That's exactly what I'm going to tell you, Sopio, right after this quick commercial break. Do not go anywhere because I'm breaking this thing down like you've never seen before. So I urge every New Yorker who's watching this show thinking they're going to make their money in the Cleveland market to pay attention, and then before you spend money in Cleveland, if you want to work with me in the same way Sopio's doing, click the show notes below to book a free call with my team or send us an email with your phone number in it. We'll call you, folks, because I am here to help you guys work one-on-one. -on -one. Now, this deal that I'm going through for her, all right, 6302 Francis, I sent this to her privately, okay? So when this is actually live on Holton Wise TV, this ain't real time, folks. You're watching this well after the fact. If you want to work with me in real time going over your deals, you got to book that call. Let's go. Two, please. Welcome back. Let's pull up the property, right? Can't can't lose on this one, can we? Can't lose on this one, right? 6302 Francis, Cleveland, 44127. Now, you sent this to me. I'm imagining you got it under contract already, okay? Want to know if this is the deal for you before you spend your money, right? 79.9. You put down 20, bank kicks in 60. It's a fairly nice looking property, right? Decent little reno. I wouldn't have went with that color in the walls, but I don't think that's going to be the end of the world. Uh, the fridge placement's also quite awkward, but again, not the end of the world. Not what uh, is really going to matter in the grand scheme of things as I get through this uh, analysis. As a matter of fact, I actually really like the black trim and the black draw, uh, doors. I think that's very sharp. Uh, new furnaces, right? Those cost about three to four grand, okay? Three to four grand. They last about 30 years. Those are brand spanking new. This kitchen definitely needs updating. You probably want to put about 20 grand into this unit. Because uh, you got to update that kitchen. That's a no-go, okay? So we're looking at a price point of 80 k with a 20 k reno, right? And then you got yourself something that should rent for quite a bit. They already got one tenant in there paying seven and a quarter, right? And uh, they look like they're talking to somebody possibly at 775 for the other unit, but they don't have it yet, right? So you must be thinking like, oh, wow, probably at least 1500 in rent, spend 80 k Put another twenty into it, because I don't think you're getting seven seventy-five with that old, old school looking kitchen, right? So it's really a hundred thousand dollar investment for over fifteen hundred dollars in rent. You're from New York. You're like, that is the greatest deal ever. Where do I buy? And that's the problem, folks. But don't worry, you got your boy Jay Wise here to solve that problem. You spent a hundred thousand dollars on this investment. 
even though that seems like pennies to you in New York City when you're comparing it to that real estate, you just lost at least $50,000 on day one, okay? You have to look at the comps. You have to look at the neighborhood. You have to look at the asset you're buying. It is not just about price-to-rent ratio, folks. How often, how frequent, how accurately uh, are these returns? How often can you actually collect that rent? Let me show you what you got. This is our house. All of these are the surrounding lots, okay? In neighborhoods like this, oftentimes, this neighborhood, the houses get so dilapidated that it becomes a property that's worth less than zero, meaning it would cost more to put it back together than it would sell for. And then the city just ends up tearing them down. Here's our house. We got a vacant lot, a vacant lot, a vacant lot, a vacant lot, 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 multiple vacant lots, vacant lot, vacant lot, okay? See what I'm saying? Vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant, 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 right? This just in the very small surrounding area of our property. What if we go up here a little bit? What do we got? Okay. Do you see the picture being painted for you? Vacant, 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 vacant. Here's another one. Here's another one. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, you see that? Those were all properties that had a value of less than zero, right? So if you pay 100 k for this property, you have lost a ton of money on day one. What do properties actually sell for in a neighborhood like this, right? Like, what do they sell for? Why is it so horrible to pay 100 k Well, if you take a look at this here, this is the cops. Densely populated urban areas, folks, meaning, like, it's not like farms, right? I run quarter-mile comps. When the houses are all packed in there like that, right, the lots, you know, they're like tenth of an acre, twentieth of an acre, stuff like that, right, densely populated. When I run comps, I do similar properties over a quarter-mile quarter radius. Like if we were doing like farm properties, properties with like two-acre lots, you'd have to widen that out. But densely populated stuff where the houses are packed in, okay, your cityscape, things like that, quarter-mile radius over the last six months. I should get like 20, 30, 40 comps. I only have 12, and guess what? I didn't do it over six months. I did it over five years. Houses are worth so little in this neighborhood. It took five years for 12 of them to sell. Prices, 8,000, 8,500, $15,000, $17,000, $18,000, $20,000, $21,000, $22,000. You get the point. If you buy this property for this price point, you are a sucker, and you have lost a ton of money on day one. It's not just about the price-to-rent ratio, folks. It is about comparable sales, actual value, right? Return on investment is what a lot of you from New York come to Cleveland for, but do not forget about return of investment. You ain't ever returning that $100,000 if you buy this property. Does that mean in the Cleveland market there are not properties that would be an amazing deal at hundred k? Absolutely not. That's not what that means because there are a ton of them. However, this one is absolutely not worth this price. This deal would not make you the money you think it's going to. So my advice for you would not be to pay this price for this property. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.